I've lived in the country for quite a number of years. My life didn't start out anything like this. Born and raised in Toronto, would never go back other than to visit. I love, I love being in the city for a short time. The country is, it's no less intense in a different way from the city. At night it's dark, birds in the day, owls at night, very little traffic noise, very little man-made noise. My first introduction to dog sledding was through my brother. My brother gave me a puppy from one of the litters that were born, didn't really want any pups, and I said I'd take one, and after my job was over, I returned to Ontario with my first dog. <coughs> Running a dog yard of sled dogs, I keep trying to make sense of it. It makes absolutely no sense to me. It's a feeling thing. It's an emotional thing. It's uh, something that you do. You can't explain it. I, I can't justify what I do. It feels good. It feels right. When you go into the yard, you see that they all want your attention. So you can go out for a visit, listen to them and scratch their ears and talk to them and can't leave anyone out. By the time you visited all the dogs properly, it's an hour and a half later. <laughs> to look back and see if when I was 17 I thought I would become a, a dog sled adventure outfitter. I probably had never heard of a dog sled adventure outfitter. I just kind of took life as it arrived and saw something that looked interesting and dove in head first naively and there I was, immersed in something I didn't know anything about. I think it takes a certain type of individual to do the kind of things that I'm doing with the dog sledding. I think it takes a person who's probably ridiculously stubborn and a person that whenever the person is told it can't be done or you oughtn't to do it or it really makes no sense, it just throws fuel in the fire. When I run my dogs and I take a team out, I feel like the whole world's left behind. All the worries of the world are left behind. It's something where I'm aware of everything around me, all my surroundings and what's going on and what to watch. I'm completely into what I'm doing, but it's a, a sense of being free. It's for that moment I don't worry about all the cares of the world. On a successful run, I come back with a lot of cuts and bruises, and but that doesn't really matter. For me, anyway, I want to do real stuff. I want to be out there. I want to, when it's cold, I don't want to be sheltered from it. When it's hot, I don't want to be sheltered from it. I want to experience it. That you have so many dogs dependent on you, it's a very freeing experience to run with them. It's something that has to be experienced to be felt. <laughs>